Hello, and welcome to Make a Difference, the show about how volunteers are making a difference every day right here in Montgomery County. I'm your host, Sandy Smith. There's a quote from a Ghanaian educator, James Agre, that if you educate a woman, you educate a whole nation. Education takes many forms. One organization that is committed to the empowerment of girls is Girls on the Run. Our guest today is Lauren Barbera, Associate Program Director of Girls on the Run of Montgomery County. Welcome to the show, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Lauren, I've been interested in Girls on the Run for quite a few years. What is Girls on the Run's mission? So Girls on the Run of Montgomery County is a positive youth development program. Mm -hmm. We inspire girls to be joyful, healthy, and confident by using a fun uh, curriculum ex um, program, that, and we also integrate running. Do you serve only girls? And if so, what are the age ranges? Ranges. We serve anybody who identifies as a girl, mm -hmm. and it's third through eighth grade. We have two programs, Girls on the Run and Heart and Soul. The Heart and Soul program is for our sixth through eighth graders. What are the messages that you're trying to promote through these programs? Healthy lifestyle, yeah. uh, self-esteem, um, how to... How to choose your friends, um, how to make good choices, good healthy choices are just uh, uh, some of the few. We have uh, several different curriculums, and those are just kind of the through message within each curriculum are those messages of just of being self-confident and um, and, you know, positive self-talk and, and things like that. And those are super important messages, especially in the climate today yes. um, in social media. Uh, it, you know, it's so difficult to be, and I think especially a young woman, um, because it's all about physical looks, appearances, and the pressure is just so intense. Um, so, you, so you mentioned that, um, and, and through the name Girls on the Run, uh, it gives some indication that there's a physical component to uh, the program. So your participants actually run. Well, you know, it's about their personal best. So, um, you know, at the beginning of the program, the program is 10 weeks long. Um, they practice twice a week for about an hour and a half. Um, wow. It's about wherever they start, you know, whether it's skipping, jumping, walking, and then all the way at the end of the 10 weeks where they end, it's it's about personal growth. It's, it's a fun run, so it's not a competition. And mm -hmm. we just encourage them to do their best so that they're proud of themselves. You know, it's about them. I love that because that, that doesn't, um, you know, make it a competition. Everyone's uh, working on at their own level, their own pace. Yep. Um, and it doesn't make a person, a girl feel bad about herself. Um, yeah. So You're actually competing with anybody, something yeah really empowering about, uh, you know, uh, meeting certain goals that you may set for yourself. Uh, so I, I love that. I really do love that. Um, you mentioned the time commitment. Now, what if you, you can't make all of the, the trainings or, I mean, is there a certain number that they, they need to complete in order to, uh, complete the program? Yes. You know, there is a, a definite a commitment to the program. So the curriculum, each lesson builds upon the previous lesson. So it's really important that participants come to as, as many as they can. We allow up to four missed um, lessons because any more than that, A, they won't be receiving the, the training they need to complete the 5K. Right. And then B, um, they'll come in on a lesson and the lesson will be talking about the previous lesson and they'll be lost and they'll right. spend a lot of time trying to catch up. So we definitely prefer that, that time. I know it's time commitment, mm -hmm. um, but um, we definitely, it's worth it. To well, get I mean, goal. if you yeah. are actually participating in a, a 5k or any, um, <laughs> any type of marathon, <laughs> there's a commitment there. I, there <laughs> is. Yes. Yes. So, you know, you have to do it. Um, okay, so you mentioned that you are introducing three new programs. Yes, what new are curriculum. they and when do you anticipate the release? So we released this um, this spring of 2024, a uh, new curriculum, brand new curriculum called Hello Superstar. Um, so far, the feedback from our coaches and our participants has been just completely positive. It's been great. 
Um, we're releasing in the fall, uh, Hello Mountain Mover. Oh. And then um, in 2025, uh, we're releasing one more curriculum. And I don't know what it's called yet. They haven't released the name. They're like, drum roll, please. <laughs> but um, I'm sure it's going to be Hello Something. <laughs> right. <laughs> And they're, they're get you know, they're really excited about Girls in the Right and International is really excited about that release. That that sounds amazing. So now I'm sure that they have coaches in these, yes. uh, in their training and, and, and the programs. How do you find the coaches? Who are the coaches? The, our coaches are integral to our program. Uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're volunteers. It's a volunteer role. Um, most of our coaches are our parents, teachers, and we do have community members that can coach as well. Um, I, just as I said, there's a level of commitment from the participants. There's also a level of commitment from the volunteers. We mm -hmm. train them. Um, all our training, actually, it's new this season, uh, all moved online. So uh, the bulk of our training, about four hours worth, can be done in the comfort of your own home online at your own pace, which is That's terrific. Good. And the coaches really liked it. We got a lot of positive feedback on that. We do ask coaches to come in um, to our office for about an hour and a half lesson demo. We find it's important, A, because I, I love to meet my coaches. I love to shake their hand and give them a hug and say, thank you so much for coaching. And then, you know, it takes the, uh, especially for our parent and community member coaches, it takes the fear out of the curriculum, right? We right. show them the curriculum and we show them just how, how easy and well-written it is and how easy it is to implement. And usually after about that hour and a half, they're very thankful and they're ready to roll and start coaching. And our coaches do not have to be runners, just so you know. Oh, they do that's not good. Have to be runners to coach. So we don't want anybody thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way I could do that. Um, you do not have to be a runner to be a coach at Girls on the Run. So if you've never participated in a 5K yourself, you yeah. don't have to nope. uh, in order to be a coach. Well, are there any other special qualifications that you do require? We do ask that, that 18 years and older. Yeah, 18 years and older to be okay. a coach. Um, we um, want them to, uh, they have to get a background check. Um, we also ask that um, at least one person at practice is CPR first aid certified. And mm. we do offer classes at a discounted rate um, for, for coaches to get those certifications. Yeah. Okay. I think that's great. And dads and can coach. Dads can coach too. Any other volunteer opportunities available if you're if you're just not quite comfortable doing coaching? We have um, junior coaches or juniors and seniors in high school, mm -hmm. sixteen or over. They could be junior coaches and they receive SSL hours. Um, we have volunteer roles for our five k. Yep. Um, we get usually about 4,000 people there and we have a DJ and the police close off the streets. And so there's a lot of volunteer role opportunities there, you know, giving out food and being a safety runner and um, uh, manning some the merchandise tent. And there's just a lot of role volunteer roles there if you if you don't have the time to be a coach that we're that we're definitely looking for. So, Lauren, do you have um, multiple sessions uh, for your 5k runs and your training programs? We do. We have two seasons. We have a, a fall season and a spring season. Our spring okay. season is, is, is coming to an end soon, but our fall season with the new curriculum, Hello Mountain Movers starts the week of September 15th. Fantastic. How can people get, um, in touch with your organization if they're interested in volunteering either as a coach or any of these other opportunities that you have available? Definitely. Um, our website is actually the best place to go. Girls on the run of moco.org. Um, there you'll find a, a place where you can register as a volunteer. You'll also find my email address, which mm -hmm. is Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N at girls on the run of O-V moco, M-O-C-O dot org. Perfect. And people can call me too. My phone number is 301-881-3801. I'm an extension 105. And I love to hear from uh, volunteers and answer any questions that anybody has. I'm here to help. Fantastic. I think your organization is doing great work. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much, Lauren. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks for having me on. We've been speaking with Lauren Barbera. Thank you again, Lauren, for uh, coming on board and telling us about your organization and uh, keep up that that run. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>
If you are interested in this or any other volunteer opportunities, please visit our website at MontgomeryService.org. I would like to take some time to congratulate our 2024 Montgomery Serves Award winners. They are Catherine Leggett, Joyce Siegel, and W. Gregory Wims for our Roscoe R. Nix Distinguished Community Leadership Awardees. Bruce Adams and Mary Canapari are our Neil Potter Path of Achievement Awardees. Wendy Kent is the Volunteer of the Year Awardee. Ted Jusfi VJ is the Youth Volunteer of the Year Awardee. AARP Foundation Tax Aid Montgomery County, Maryland for Volunteer Group of the Year. And finally, the Monitor Group LLC is our Volunteer Business of the Year awardee. Congratulations to all of our awardees as well as our nominees. I'm your host, Sandy Smith. Thank you for joining us and let's be sure to make a difference.